What's up guys, it's Alina and today I'm going to be doing my super easy, natural, everyday makeup tutorial. On average this will take me like 15 to 20 minutes and it is very beginner friendly. So the first thing I'm going to do is fill in my eyebrows. I use the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade 705 Rich Brown. Next I'm going to be going in with my favorite mascara of all time, the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I prefer the one with the curved brush. I think that it really separates your lashes and it pushes them up a lot more so they look a lot longer and a lot fuller. Next, I'm going to be going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. You want to make sure that your face is clean and moisturized before putting on your primer. It'll just help with smoother makeup application. I do have a little bit of oily skin so this also helps to keep my makeup matte and locked in throughout the day. Since this is a natural light coverage makeup look, I'm going to be going in with my favorite tinted moisturizer that is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Medium Dark 14W. This is definitely buildable so the more layers you put on, the more full coverage it'll be. Something that I started doing more recently is applying the tinted moisturizer with a brush first and then going in with a second layer of tinted moisturizer using a beauty blender. I think that this really just helps with the coverage. It makes my face look a lot more glowier. And on the beauty blender, I make sure to spray it with setting spray instead of using water. This also helps to lock in the products even more and it'll make my skin look glowy throughout the day and prevent it from getting oily. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand. I just like to put this on all of the places on my face that need a little bit more lightening up. So I put it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose where I'm going to be putting highlighter later. And I also put it around my mouth since I do have a little bit of hyperpigmentation. After I finish applying my concealer, I go in with another layer of setting spray. I know that it might seem a little bit crazy, but I promise you guys that this works, especially if you have oily skin. So I let that dry for a few seconds and then I'll dampen my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge and I will go ahead and blend that out. This next product has completely changed the game for me. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Again, this is a great product for oily skin and you can also use it throughout the day um, just to touch up. So I go in with a light layer of this before I start using my loose finishing powder. For my next powder, I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 30 Medium Deep. My favorite part of this entire routine is the highlighter. I just feel like it makes my face pop and it accentuates all of the high points. So I use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. I have been using this highlighter for so many years, have not switched. I have it in multiple different shades. I absolutely love it. Next, I will be using the Rimmel London Waterproof Bronzing Powder in the shade 22 Sun Bronze. You will be seeing me using three different brushes for the exact same bronzer. That's just because each brush has a different purpose for each part of my face. So I use a tapered blush brush to contour my nose. I use a big fluffy brush for the side of my face. And then I use a more compact tapered brush for the area around my edges just so that my edges don't lift up. One of the last steps, I'm going to be going in with my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade 328B Mellow Wine. Yes. 
Now I'm just going to be re-spooling my eyebrows, just brushing them up a little bit. Um, sometimes when you use the powder and you put concealer over it, it'll make you lose some of the pigment from the eyebrow pencil. So you just want to make sure that you go back in and blend that out. I'm also going to be doing my waterline. I usually do this first, but I completely forgot, so I'm going to be doing it now. After I finish that, I will use a Q-tip to clean the foundation and concealer off of my lips and I will use another Q-tip to clean any mascara that I may have gotten behind my eyelashes. Once I finish doing that, I'll go in with one last layer of setting spray and then that'll be it for the makeup. For my lips, I just decided to go with something basic. I'm using just regular Aquaphor and I will be putting on my hoops and doing my hair just so that you guys can see the full completed look. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what types of videos you guys want to see next and subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is down below along with all of my social media links, my Instagram, my TikTok, my Twitter, and my Spotify. And I will see you guys next week. Nada me va a cambiar, aunque digan que soy muy anormal. Aquí no le vamos a bajar.